In this video, you will learn how to use the URL lib module in Python. URL lib is a Python module for fetching URLs. It is very easy to use. Let's see how we can fetch information from internet using URL library. Now, first of all, I will create a new Python file here. I will right click here, click on new and I will click on this Python file and I'll give some file name URL lib and now let's import the module so i will import from url lib dot request so i'm importing this url lib dot request because we are going to make the request and let's go to the web browser so we are going to open the website python and let me open this python website here and this is the python website I'll copy this link from here and then I will go here to make any request we use the method request and to open any file we use the method URL open now I will make one variable response and then I will call this URL lib dot request and from this I will call the method URL open and what we want to open we want to open the website python which we have copied so i will put here double quotes and i will paste the url of this python website now let me print this response variable and to run this code i will right click and then i will click on this file name url lib and here in the output you will see we got this message here http dot client dot http response object at this location now we can also you know print the status code if the status code is 200 then it means the request made is successful so let's print the status code i will write print response dot status and let's execute our code to run our code you can also click on this green icon here I'll click on this and here in the output you can see we got the message here 200 200 means we have made this request successfully now when we make a request in the response we also get the header we can also print the header here so I will call here print response dot header and let me execute this code i got the error because it is headers i have to put s here let me run this code again and here you can see in the output i got some information so we have got the information of this response object so it is like we have this connection then content length server content type and so on these are the header we also got this date so today is saturday 5th march and this time is 07 13 and this time is a gmt gmt time and then we have got some other information as well now we can also read the response using the method read and let's say we want to read it first of all i'll comment this code so that we don't get this information again and I will write print response dot read and let us run this code and here in the output we got this message here bound method http response dot read of this at this memory location and then you know we can also limit the number of line by passing some numbers but here we are not getting anything in this response so we don't need to pass this parameter now let's say instead of this python website we want to get some other website let's go to this url and this time i will go to tensorflow i will copy this from here and then i will go here and instead of this website i will put this website here and then i will rerun this code again now you will see here so this time we are 
getting the information from this tensor flow here and here also we are not getting much information let me comment this line and let me print this again so we are just getting this uh, object here response object at this location but anyways this way you know you can use this url lib request module to get information from any website and this is how it works it is very easy to use just few lines of code and the information is at your end this video was about the url lib request if you like my video you can subscribe to my channel thank you for watching